Russian is the day-to-day -day language for millions of Ukrainians. But since independence in 1991, the official state language has been Ukrainian. Should Russian be granted equal status as an official state language? And what could that mean for the future of the Ukrainian language? As a Ukrainian, I all, almost all my life I uh, speak um, uh, Russian and uh, Ukrainian as um, almost as my uh, two native native languages. And I suppose that uh, if we uh, give uh, Russian a status of second language, uh, it could uh, solve a lot of disputes between uh, Russian and Ukrainian nations. I don't, think, I don't think so, because, for example, I speak German, I speak English, I speak Russia and Ukraine. Uh, but we live in Ukraine and uh, we need to have only our language, because uh, it's, um, um, I think it's our face, like our face. And I don't need to ask our Ukrainian parliament uh, to give me opportunity to fill document, offic official document uh, in, um, for example, Russia or or Germany or English, because uh, Ukraine it must be the first language in our country. I think that uh, the official uh, language in the country, in each country, should be the language of nation. I think that uh, it should be one official language in Ukraine, it's Ukrainian language. Uh, I'm speaking Russian, I, I'm speaking German, uh, Italian, a little bit Polish, uh, Armenian, but I think that uh, the general language, uh, most important language in the country should be Ukrainian. Uh, yes, I think so, because uh, it looks like on the history, yes, but um, when you come to France, uh, you know uh, that you need to know uh, language of France, French. When you come to another country, uh, you know uh, that language in this country, uh, Francais is French, Italia is Italian. So when people come to Ukraine, they need to know Ukrainian lang in, uh, language, like first language in our country. <laughs> And uh, we have so many people who talk on Russian, so if, he, if they want to talk on Russian, they can do it in Ukraine.